Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba makuha yung derivative ng isang function using the derivative of a constant and the power rule. So may dalawa tayong formula na i-apply dito guys. So una, we have uh, d over dx of c is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, pag kinuha raw natin guys yung derivative ng ating constant, ang sagot natin doon ay 0. Okay, by the way, yung d over dx, ito yung operator ng ating derivative. Okay? Then, the power rule naman, uh, we have d over dx of x raised to n. So, dito meron tayong variable and exponent. So, para makuha natin yung derivative niya is, imumultiply natin si exponent doon sa ating coefficient. Okay? Then, after natin ma-multiply yan, magsusubtract naman tayo ng 1 doon sa ating exponent. Nakuha, guys? So, may dalawa tayong symbol na gagamitin dito para malaman natin na naka-derivative na yung ating function. Kung y ang given, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite um, to dy over dx. Ibig sabihin, uh, naka-derivative yung ating y with respect to x. Okay, or pwede rin naman nating gamitin symbol is y prime. Ibig sabihin nung prime, naka first derivative yung ating function. Okay, then kung meron naman tayong f of x instead of y, ang symbol ng first derivative niya is f prime of x. Okay, so let's have our first example. Find the derivative of y equals 5. So, since dito guys, is yung 5 is alam naman natin na constant, ibig sabihin, ang derivative ng ating function is equals to 0. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating uh, final answer. Next, number 2, we have f of x equals 5x raised to 18. So, dito pwede natin i-apply yung ating power rule. Okay, so kunin natin yung first derivative ng ating function. We have f prime of x equals, so yung 18, imumultiply natin dito sa ating coefficient. So that is 18 times 5. Tama? Then meron tayong x. Then dun sa ating exponent, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? So simplify natin to guys. We have 18 times 5. That is 90, then x, then dun sa ating exponent, 18 minus 1, that is 17. Okay? So, ang first derivative ng ating f of x is equals to 90x raised to 17. Nakuha, guys? So, let's have another example. Number 3, we have y equals 4x raised to 5 minus 2x squared plus 2. So, dito guys, uh, pagka meron tayong polynomial, ang gagawin nyo lang is kunin nyo yung derivative by term. Okay? So, apply natin yung power rule per term. So, try natin. We have y prime. Ibig sabihin, naka first derivative yung ating function. So, multiply natin si 5 dito sa ating 4. So, that is uh, 5 times 4 x raised to 5, then minus 1. Tama? Then, si 2, multiply natin dito kay negative 2. We have minus, so 2 times 2, then x square minus 1. Okay? Then, ang last natin, meron tayong constant. So, ang derivative ng ating constant ay 0. Okay? Then, simplifying our uh, derivative, we have 5 times 4, so that is 20x. Then 5 minus 1, we have 4. Minus 2 times 2, so we have positive 4x. Then 2 minus 1, this is 1. Tama? Then plus 0. So ito na ngayon guys, yung ating uh, first derivative ng ating function. Nasundan ba? So, let's have number 4. We have y equals 3x raised to 5 over 4 minus 
2x raised to 2 thirds. So, same procedure guys. Uh, I-apply natin yung ating power rule. So, ang derivative ng y natin, we have y prime equals. So, yung 5 over 4, i-multiply natin dun sa 3. Okay, so multiply nyo lang yan guys. Then, dun sa ating exponent na 5 over 4, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay, then minus. So, multiply natin si 2 thirds dun sa ating positive 2. That is 2 thirds times 2. Then, x raised to 2 thirds. Then, subtract tayo ng 1. Okay, then simplify natin to guys. So, that is y prime equals. So, 5 times 3. Pag nag-multiply tayo ng whole number dun sa fraction, uh, imumultiply nyo lang yan guys sa numerator. ba Tandaan. Uh, multiply the numerator to numerator, then denominator to denominator. So, this is uh, 15 over 4, then x raised to 5 over 4 minus 1. Okay, yung minus 1 natin dito, uh, pwede siyang 5 over 5, uh, 4 over 4. Tama? Pwede natin niya i-rewrite to 4 over 4 para same yung denominator natin dito. Okay? So, 5 minus 4, that is 1, over, then copy lang natin yung denominator, so meron tayong 1 fourth. Okay? Then, dun tayo sa kabila. So, 2 times 2, that is positive 4 over 3, x, raised to 2 thirds minus 1. So, yung 1, pwede natin i-rewrite yan as 3 over 3. Tama? Then, 2 minus 3, that is negative 1, over, copy natin yung denominator, which is 3. Okay? Then, to simplify yung ating final answer, as you can see guys, meron tayong negative exponent. Ibig sabihin, ah, kailangan natin gawin positive yan. No? So, para maging positive yan guys, ang gagawin nyo lang, is ilalagay yung ating... Um, variable doon sa denominator. Okay, so we have 4 over 3. Then, lagay natin si x dito sa denominator. Then, yung kanyang exponent magiging positive na. So, we have positive 1 third. Nakuha? So, ito na ngayon yung ating derivative. Nasusundan ba guys? So, let's proceed to example number 5. We have y equals square root of x minus 1 over x. So, dito, kunin natin yung derivative ni y. So, we have y prime equals square root of x. That is, uh, gawin muna natin x raised to 1 half. Tama? Para makita natin, guys, yung ating exponent. Since yung square root, parehas lang yan ni 1 half. Then, yung x natin dito sa denominator, lagay natin sa numerator. So, that is x raised to negative 1. Nakuha? So, ngayon, pwede na natin kunin yung kanyang first derivative. So, ang y prime natin is equals to, multiply natin si 1 half, that is 1 half times x raised to 1 half minus 1. Okay? Okay? Then, multiply natin si negative 1 dito. We have minus negative 1. Then, x raised to negative 1. Then, minus 1. So, simplify natin to guys. We have y prime equals 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1. So, this is 2 over 2. ba? So, 1 half minus 2 over 2. That is negative 1 half. Then, multiply natin to guys. Negative times negative 1, that is positive 1. Then, x. So, pwede hindi na natin ilagay yung 1. x raised to negative 1 minus 1, that is negative 2. So, kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong uh, negative exponents. So, ibig sabihin, uh, pwede natin yan ilagay sa denominator para maging positive. Tama? So, ang final answer natin dito, we have y prime equals 1 over 2x raised to 1 half plus 1 over x square. 
So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating final answer. Nasundan ba? Next, number 6. We have y equals x square over x cube times square root of x. So, dito guys, kung mapapansin nyo, marami tayong uh, x. Ibig sabihin, um, bago natin kunin yung kanyang derivative, um, i-rewrite muna natin yan or i-simplify muna natin yan guys to lowest term. Okay, so try natin. So, una, uh, pwede natin i-rewrite si square root of x to x raised to 1 half. Tama? So, pwede nating uh, kunin yung product nito by using the um, di ba yung x cube times x raised to 1 ha? Pag in natin ng product rule yan guys uh, Same lang yan ni x square over x cube plus 1 half Tama? Ano yan guys? Uh, loss, of ex loss of exponents So, 3 plus 1 half so, that is uh, 2 times 3, 6. Then, plus 1, we have 7 over 2. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede natin i-apply yung quotient. Uh, anong gagawin natin pag quotient? Ang gagawin nyo naman dun, guys, is isusubtract natin yung kanilang exponent. So, we have 2 minus 7 over 2. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. We have y equals x, then 2 times 2, that is 4, minus 7. 4 minus 7, that is negative 3 over 2. Okay, ngayon pwede na natin i-apply yung ating uh, power rule. So, we have y prime equals, so multiply natin sa negative 3 over 2, yung ating variable. Then, yung ating exponent, magma-minus 1 tayo. Okay, then simplify natin to guys. We have y prime equals negative 3 over 2 x. So, negative 3 over 2 minus 1. So, yung negative 1 dito guys, same lang yan ni 2 over 2. Tama? Then, negative 3 minus 2, we have negative 5 over 2. Okay, again, meron tayong negative exponent. So, para maging positive yan, ilalagay natin yan guys sa denominator. Okay, so that is negative 3 over 2x raised to 5 over 2. Ito na ngayon guys, yung ating derivative. Nasundan guys? Okay, so tuloy tayo. Number 7. Uh, we have y equals x plus 5 over square root of x. So, dito guys, uh, para ma-apply natin yung ating uh, power rule, ang gagawin nyo lang is paghiwalayin natin yung ating uh, fraction. So, that is y equals si x plus 5 all over square root of x. Parehas lang yan guys ni x over square root of x plus 5 over square root of x. Tama? Then, i-rewrite natin yung square root of x in terms of uh, yung kanyang exponent. So, that is x over x raised to 1 half plus 5 over x raised to 1 half. Tama? Then, apply natin yung ating uh, quotient rule, guys. So, that is x raised to 1, ito, ang exponent niyan ay 1, minus 1 half, diba? So, subtract natin yung exponent sa denominator. Then, dito naman sa may kabila, iaangat lang natin yung ating variable. So, that is 5x raised to negative 1 half. Okay? So, magiging negative lang yung ating exponent. So, simplify natin to. So, that is y equals x 1 minus 1 half, that is 1 half. Okay, plus 5x raised to negative 1 half. So, ngayon, pwede na nating i-apply yung ating power, power rule. Tama? So, multiply natin to doon sa ating uh, variable. That's 1 half times x raised to 1 half minus 1. 
plus. So, multiply natin si negative 1 half dun sa ating 5. So, that is negative 1 half times 5. X raised to negative 1 half minus 1. Okay, so simplify natin to guys. So, we have y equals 1 half x. So, yung 1 half minus 1, that is negative 1 half. Okay? Then, negative 1 half times 5, that is negative 5 over 2 x. Then, negative 1 half minus 1. Again, yung minus 1 natin dito, pwede natin i-express to 2 over 2. Tama? Then, negative 1 minus 2, that is negative 3 over 2. Okay, then kung makapansin nyo, meron tayong mga negative exponents. So, gawin natin positive. So, that is y equals 1 over 2x raised to 1 half. So, para maging positive yung ating exponent, ilalagay natin sa denominator. Okay, then we have minus... 5 over 2x raised to 3 over 2. So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating final answer. So, by the way, uh, naka y prime na tayo. Okay, ibig sabihin, first derivative. Sundan guys. So, last, number 8, uh, we have y equals the cube root of x minus 6. So, kung i-express natin to in terms of exponential, so that is y equals x raised to 1 third. Tama guys? Yung cube root natin, same lang yan ni 1 over 3. Okay? Then, minus 6 tayo. So, ngayon pwede na natin i-apply yung ating power rule. So, we have y prime is equals to 1 third x raised to 1 third minus 1. Then, yung derivative ng constant is 0. Tama? So, simplify natin yung ating derivative. We have y prime is equals to 1 third x. Then, 1 third minus 1. So, yung 1, same lang yan ni 3 over 3. 1 minus 3, we have negative 2 over 3. Okay, so since negative yung ating exponent, so para maging positive yan guys, lalagay natin yan sa denominator. So ang final answer natin, we have 1 over 3x raised to 2 thirds. Okay, so ito na ngayon yung derivative ng ating given function. Nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano ba natin ina-apply si power rule okay, to get the derivative ng ating given function. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!